I've been a artist in residence at the Ledoux Neurological Lab at NYU for the last three years. They're studying emotions in the brain, specifically fear and anxiety. And I'm drawing the uh, visual equivalent of the communication in the amygdala, which is the site of fear and anxiety in the brain. It's also the old, one of the oldest parts of the brain. And the lab is trying to decode the communication, which looks extremely chaotic and non-patterned. And they are trying to find what pattern is in there and how that part of the uh, brain communicates with others. The drawings are my filtering all that information through my imagination and layering many, many of the lab drawings on top of one another to create my own kind of pattern making along with the different ways of seeing the same part of the brain. I begin with a very loose idea of a piece of large paper, a piece of mylar, and this digital image of the, the amygdala in the brain. And I, what I do is, is start moving those around, literally, underneath the mylar until I find something that speaks to me. And I begin taking the smaller lab drawings and sliding those under and copying them one by one until I build up a fairly intricate, complex image. The Plain Sense of Things is an installation that was made specifically for the Leslie Heller Gallery. It's made of wire, porcelain, felting, and beading. And the title comes from a beautiful poem by Wallace Stevens, The Plain Sense of Things. The first line is, after the leaves have fallen, we return to the plain sense of things. And this piece was made uh, as partly after a very difficult time in my life, a way of trying to understand order and beauty in life. And it not only takes some configurations from laboratory, uh, the neurological laboratory at the Ledoux Center, for instance, DNA strands and other neurological formats. And it also uses Victorian mourning braiding, which was highly popular in Victorian times and a way, a way of commemorating a loved one through very intricate braiding. So it's a combination or a layering of all of those elements in one piece. Field of Vision is a series of 10 mixed media and glass pieces uh, using Petri dishes, and it's dedicated to the memory of the artist Mary Hamilton. The Petri dishes came from the lab where I work, and they are kind of small sketches of things that I've been thinking about uh, through my years at the lab in terms of not only imagery, but uh, communication, language, and the different visualization of those things. Often these are things you cannot actually see. So it's filtered through my imagination and contained in these small glass dishes. The print project, the book with eight related multimedia prints, is titled Out of the Nothing That Is. It was done in collaboration with the poet Tom Slay at the Experimental Print Institute in Eastern Pennsylvania. This is dedicated to my husband, Benny Andrews. The poem is about him, and the images are also about him in an abstract way. And Tom and I collaborated in the sense that we worked from the same memories, and we both embedded those memories, Tom with words and myself in the imagery. So the prints are planographic, which is a form of lithography, uh, serographs or silkscreen, and collages, they're, they're elements that are silk screened on silk and then glued onto the prints, and elements uh, like thread that are also glued onto the prints. Shadow Speech is a four by eight map-like piece made from paper sandwiched between plexiglass. It takes the idea of cells and how they communicate in the brain and how the scientists are trying to decode that fairly secret communication and layers it with an almost extinct language from southern China called Nushu that was created by a group of women in a male-dominated society in order for them to communicate their hopes and fears to each other without other people knowing. So again, another kind of secret language. The piece is made up of hundreds of 
elements from that language, there's the actual characters of the language are in the piece and embossed on translucent paper, cut out and glued together, as well as my drawings from the lab cut out in the same format as the language and layered over them. I think when I'm working, I have a sense of not only meditation, but of trying to unravel things about the world that are seemingly unintelligible, possibly secret, but that I know and feel that are there. And I think the process of working very slowly over time enhances that feeling.